Royal Arena here in Copenhagen. Quarter to eight in the evening local time, so evening here in Denmark. One more match to come today on day three of competition at the Total Energies BWF World Championships. And it's men's doubles, and it features the last men's doubles pair from Denmark to medal at World Championships. Kim Astrop and Anna's Rasmussen up against the silver medalists from the European Championships last year, Alexander Dunn and Adam Hall from Scotland. Now, this match is from the fourth quarter of the draw. Number two seeds, Ranky, Reddy and Shetty, they were bronze medalists at the last World Championships. They're safely through. We were watching Canando and Martin earlier on today beat uh, Lane and Vendy in three games. The uh, Malaysians, uh, they were... Uh, bronze medalists in 2021 as well on Yu Sin and Tiu Yi. So it's possible we could have the two bronze medalists from the World Championships two years ago meeting in the third round. Uh, but of course, Alex Dunn and Adam Hall will have something to say about that prospect. So the Scottish combination bronze medalists at the European Games uh, this year in a repeat of the semi-final in Poland at those European Games up against the gold medalists from the European Games, Astrup and Erasmussen. So the Scottish combination. Led out by Alexander Dunn. Adam Hall, who was playing mixed doubles in these championships as well. And the Danes, the left and right handed combination of Kim Astra and Anna's Rasmussen. Winners of two titles this year, the Danes, not only the European Games, but then a week later won the Canadian Open. Playing their first match of these World Championships because as a seeded combination, Astrup and Rasmussen had a bye in the very first round. So this will be a third meeting between these two pairs. Uh, both previous meetings have been won by Astrup and Rasmussen. The last time they met was in fact that semi-final at the European Games in Poland. Three games though, as you can see, 21-10 in the deciding game in a match lasting okay, 57 last minutes. Black or red? Red, for you of course. Red, your choice. You sir, receiving. Uh, Kim, Kim and this side. this side, OK. So the Scottish pair won the toss of the coin, chosen to serve. Oh! Well, the Scottish combination really made their breakthrough by winning the silver medal at the European Games last year in European Championships, I beg your pardon, in Madrid last year, lost out to Lamsfus and Zeidel. Alexander Dunn is 24 years of age, so he'll turn 25 next month, born in Bells Hill, North Lanarkshire, just southeast of Glasgow. I think Kirsty Gilmore was born in Bells Hill as well. Adam Hall, 27, the taller of the two. I've got him down at 187, which is six foot one and a half. And they have been as high as 22 on the world rankings, four weeks in total across two different spells. So in the first round, they beat Adam Dong and uh, Neil Yakora from Canada. Uh, sadly, Adam Dong had a terrible back spasm, a back injury, and had to retire after the first game. I saw Adam 
ball after that uh, first round match and he was very concerned about his opponent which was uh, very nice and very sporting of him. Kim Astrup is 31 years of age, he's just become a father just under six foot one and they're currently number 11 on the world ranking but they did spend a total of five weeks across three different spells at number five on the world ranking. It's their eighth world championships and that bronze medal in Huelva that was clearly their best result at uh, a major games. Rasmussen is 34 years of age from Oda which is about 20 kilometers south Ready of Aarhus and that just confirms what I was telling you a moment ago. Quarterfinalists at the Olympic Games the Danish combination as we look at our umpire Fabio Beto and Emmanuel Hibotsele of Botswana our service judge Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Astrup and Anders Kohl Rasmussen, Denmark. And on my left, Alexander Dunn and Adam Hall, Scotland. Adam Hall to serve to Kim Astrup. Love all, play. So the Scottish combination of Adam Hall and Alex Dunn, far side of the court, getting this second round match underway against the number 11 seeds, Kim Astrup and Anna's Rasmussen. It's going wide. Adam Hall, a member of my Labrador Lovers Badminton Club. <laughs> it's got a lovely black Labrador called yeah. Luna. Service over. Two, one. Thomas Stangle. Prior to the match, alerting the Danes that the uh, drift is severe sideways. And now that um, the Scottish players, they are really, really uh, focusing on getting high on the uh, low serves. Reaching it high. So they have opportunities. Scottish pair, possibly, well, probably, not as well known in international terms as the Danish combination. So just give me your thoughts on because they've they've had very good success at European level. The silver medal at the European Championships, bronze at the European Games, and they've made it difficult for uh, some of the international pairs that do well. As far as I recall, I can't really uh, uh, mention the ones, but, but I, I just feel that they're not an easy pair to get by in these World Tour tournaments. Adam Hall, uh, very good mixed doubles player as well, uh, the taller of the two, as you said. Um, um, really uh, good attack, strong at the net. Um, I would say the more creative of the two, where Alex Adam, Adam, Adam Hall, yeah. where Alex Dunn, um, very agile, and we, we can't forget that they've got a, a really good um, uh, practice environment in Scotland with the uh, Grimley um, twins, who's also doing it well, at least on European level. Oh, that's good defence from Kim Astrup. And, and just like most um, pairs from um, 
Scotland, Five. England, super Two. strong in the service situation, which was why Stangall alluded to the fact that the Danes have to be alert there. Yeah, good attack by the Danes. Well, just to follow up on that point, uh, Steve, about they're a difficult pair. I mean, Paul and Dunn, uh, they've beaten pairs like Fikri and Maulana, yeah. the, the All England champions from last year. Uh, Choi Sogul and Kim Won Ho, they beat them at the All England Championships this year. Uh, they've had some excellent results. Yeah, I agree. The Danes, I think, so uh, very much have a favoured formation, don't they? They have a favoured formation. Kim Astrup, the left hand uh, at the front of the court, and Anas Rasmussen at the back. But they're working on it. Uh, whilst Kim Astrup has had his fair amount of injuries, Anas Rasmussen is never injured. I can't remember exactly how many Danish league matches in a row he's played. He's never injured, and that means that we've seen him in some of the team competitions, Sudeman Cup and Thomas Cup with Frederick Sogard. And it shows that he can actually play on the front court as well. And I know the Danes, they've worked on um, their ability to uh, function in the opposite um, and even side by side. Actually, I think Anas Rasmussen has a much stronger smash when he comes moving backwards from the midcourt area. Normally, with a solid defense, then I think perhaps more solid than Don Hall's here, and that could end up being decisive. Good rally. This is fast pace. It's going long. Service over. Seven, four. Kim Astrup can do the tumble serve. I'm not sure he will do it from uh, this side of the court. Oh! Oh, idea just overdid it from Alex Dunn he does remarkably well you know how on earth he copes with being a professional athlete is astonishing given the fact that he has type 1 diabetes oh he does yeah I didn't know that yeah there's a little patch on his arm to monitor his blood sugar levels yeah that's a good smash. Yeah, very good smash. They talk a lot to each other during uh, the intervals. Um, in between the rallies, Kim Ashraf and Anas Rasmussen. A good thing for them? Yeah. Yeah. Over ten five. That's uh, a good flick serve from Rasmussen. And to the mid game interval with a six point advantage. Yeah, you don't have to be that precise at the ten. Yeah, I tried to try to
Eleven five. Play. Defense. Yeah, the lift from Alex Dunn was short. Twelve five. I feel that the Danes are rushing the Scottish pair a little bit. I think they're playing too too fast for the for the Scots, I think they need to try and slow it down a little bit. There was a block in yeah. that rally that I liked, and yeah. I think they need to play more of those. Yeah, the Scots. Yeah. Yes, I agree. I think uh, the Danes have won the midcourt area. And also, if they have to go into the defence, they can play defence, and then they are very alert coming forward, over-covering the midcourt area. Yeah, totally mishit that. Out, so it's over six forty. one of the first times I think that the Scottish pair have won one of those uh, mid-court exchanges. Yeah. Ingo Kindfata, former German player, now head coach in Scotland. Oh. Well, one has to assume that was a little loose, that serve, because that was a wonderful return from Astra. Interesting to see that he's performing well here the first time he plays after becoming a dad. Yeah. But he's just started well. Kim Astro, of yeah. course. So it's over 8 <laughs> Flew home from Japan, didn't he, Astrup? Uh, try and be home in time for the baby's arrival. And that was 12 hours late. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. better. They seem to be more alert, Don and Hall, in those situations. Excellent follow-up by yeah. Adam Hall. He's also played a tournament with Frederick Sogard. He has. Yeah. In fact, he did work very well, didn't he? I think he, oh. they got to the semi-final. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Here we see Anas Rasmussen. He can definitely play the front court player. Did well to get the right placement there. He tends to, uh, to search for this forehand return, um, Adam Hall. Oh, fantastic defense. Eighteen, 
on. over 10, 18. Nice idea, wrong execution. Game point opportunities, and in all honesty, the Danes have totally dominated this opening game. Yeah, they sort of blitzed the uh, yeah. Scottish. Definitely needs to try and take the pace out of um, the game. Donnan Hall needs to um, make sure they're completely ready. And the rally starts. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, on their second game point of opportunity, Pierre Maastrup and Anna Rasmussen, the number 11 the seeds from Denmark, goes out the opening game 12. in 14 minutes. Absolutely ready in case the shuttle came through to him. But 21 12, opening game. We really push over to that side, see that we get someone in weak positions, move in and then try to go on the other side. At the same time, we have to protect our back end. We're going to come pushing through there and then blocking on the other side. Right? So like we really have to step out there, the other person has to be sharp on the forward side. Then. So like, when they play soft shots, like they, they we come in, like they get a bit too good of a read on like when we block. So like they have to like play like some surprising situations there when we're like a bit stretched there. Also like we feel we're not just like not just like guiding, but like push them further into the court. Yeah. yeah also like the lifts. <laughs> Second game, level. Play. So the number 11 seeds from Denmark, Kim Astrup and Anders Rasmussen, taking that open game. One, love. 21 12. Not thinking about the drift, the sideways drift. Adam One. Hall. Uh, 
Oh, this behold goal said stone goal. It's super important to get that flick in so they got, can't really uh, overcome the uh, low serve the Scottish. I have to say, if I were a hole in and done, I would try and, and get it below the tape instead of pushing. We'll play it back to Anas Rasmussen, either of the two sides. Close the Danes go to the net. Well, they're challenging that. I don't think they'll win that challenge. I saw that as landing in. Clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, one. Play. I just feel that the Scottish combination are not dealing with the pace of this. They, they can't deal with the pace, and, and I was just about to say, I don't think I've seen the Danes play faster than this. Uh, we, we have to consider the uh, opposition that it's not Asians who are uh, notoriously stronger in, um, in the fast-paced flat game, but, but I think the Danes are playing really, really fast here. Yeah. Seven straight points. Flicking at him whole. At least the Rasmussen is consistently. Well, the Danes are playing well, there's no doubt about it. And that they've got to reduce the pace, the Scottish. Yeah. Eight, one. Super third shot from Kim Astrup. And this was, I mean, on paper, it was not an easy match. It's no. It's a repeat of the semi final for the European Games. Where it was three game match. Three games. Oh, well, finally, the run of points comes to an end. At nine straight points at the start of the second game when you've already won the first. Puts the Danes in a really, really strong position. So it's over. Ten, two. To the mid-game interval with an 11-2 lead for the number 11 seeds Astrup and Rasmussen. I mean, it's not a reverse. There's no reason playing that bad. It's all right. See, like, look, it is what it is. Let's just take on this challenge. But we have to, like, in terms of the speed of our shots, and we keep doing the same thing, and the same stuff happens. So we need to step, like we need to change some things. And like it's sometimes like we commit and like we really push, but then we don't manage to cover. Yeah. Or like we play so soft, and we like lose the soft things. So like find like a different speed of the shots down, and then make sure that we close down the mid ball. Well, Ingo Kundafata uh, pointing out what they were doing wrong, but mm, give an awful lot about what they should be doing right. instead. No, uh, I think you should have alerted the Scottish to the Singapore Open where Astro and Rasmussen, they were at the exact same position, won the first game, leading 11-2 in the second against uh, uh, 
Kusumo Wadana and Rambitan, and then went on to lose. Yeah. They're probably not going to fall into the same trap this time. No, I can't see it happening again. sort of block that I wanted to see the Scottish Bear play. Yeah. And the Danes, they are in the zone. They, they play like... Um, they always know what the choice should be. And 95% of the time it's the right choice. And when you have one of those days, I've been told it's lovely <laughs> to play badminton. <laughs> <laughs> it is, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to rub salt into the wound. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just not their day, is it? No, no. And, and they they wish that this um, device that takes the players up through the floor when they're presented into the arena here, they wish that they've moved it to court number one and it can just sort of swallow them, the Scottish players. Yeah, that's well done. Yeah. Service over. Well done, by Four, That's a nice block on from the defence from Dunn. Yeah. And look at the different outcome to the rally. Five, 15. Also reducing the pace there on the smash uh, and on hall, preventing that their own pace can be uh, used against them. He's shaking his head. It's all Scotsman. Yeah, that was a tumble serve. Yeah. There's the block. Need to block and follow forward. Well, you've got to hand it to the Danes because they came out firing on all cylinders and they haven't let up at all. And that, that's not easy. Mm. It's their first match in this arena. They hadn't played a set. Well, Don and Hall hadn't played a full match, but they played a set. Against the Canadians. Six, seventeen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seven, seventeen. Well, on the gap. Look, surely too little, too late. That's nice, though. Ah. Uh, making it a little bit more respectable here. And if I were the Danes, I would sort of um, gear up again now. But it's worked really well, reducing the pace to the front court. They've gotten the attack. Yeah. 
Well, got the lucky net cord there, Kim Astrup, for which he apologises, raises his arm in apology. Uh, he created his own luck, so... Oh, that yeah, was a pity. That yeah, was a nice idea. Well, that's good. Manitoba, 9-19. Going for angle rather than pace. Oh. Another net cord from the Danes. Nine. And that brings up match point opportunities. Oh, got in a muddle there. Eleven twenty. And that's gone long as well. Twelve twenty three match points have come and gone. This time on their fourth match point opportunity. Kim Ashworth and Anna's Rasmussen took their place in the third round of the World Championships. Just 30 minutes for their victory over Alex Dunn and Adam Hall of Scotland. Oh! Yeah, they're pleased with that. And so they Match should be. A moment of victory. So symmetry in the scoreline. Twenty-one, twelve, twenty-one, twelve in favour of the bronze medalists from two years ago, Kim Astrup and Anz Rasmussen. 30 minutes for their victory, and they're through to the third round. Concludes second round action for today. Uh, we're back with third round action tomorrow. And um, please note it's a little later than today, 12 noon local time. That's 1000 GMT. In the meantime, from all of us here, and especially from Steen Pedersen and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.